Welcome to A Bill a Minute from GovTrack, your 60-second breakdown of interesting bills in Congress. I'm Jesse Rifkin. The New York Times' Pulitzer Prize-winning The 16 and 19 Project is an ongoing initiative by the publication to reframe the origins for many of today's current political and social issues in the context of slavery and its aftermath. Named after the year that slaves first arrived in the colonies, the 1619 Project's installments have titles such as Why Doesn't the United States Have Universal Health Care? The Answer Lies in Policies Enacted After the Civil War. Now, simultaneously, a curriculum for schools based on the 1619 Project has been incorporated into lessons for students across the country, including citywide in Buffalo, New York, Chicago, Illinois, Washington, D.C., Wilmington, Delaware, and Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The Saving American History Act would ban federal funding for public schools to teach the 1619 Project curriculum. It was introduced in the Senate on July 23rd by Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton. Now, supporters argue that the 1619 Project is biased revisionist history, presenting an overly negative and perhaps even dangerously incorrect view to children and teenagers about the underlying principles animating America. While they agree that slavery is a stain on the nation's history and should be taught, they say America, both then and now, has been a country primarily defined by freedom and liberty, not primarily defined by slavery and oppression. Opponents countered that the 1619 Project is a long overdue and sorely needed reframing of American history for once not from the perspective of rich, white, slave-holding founders like George Washington and Thomas Jefferson. Well, the real irony is that a senator named Tom Cotton wants people to learn less about cotton picking.